interesting if you look at this one here uh, when it first opened basically they just put open the doors in the gable end and started but they could actually call it the pavilion cinema but it wasn't very much afterwards that then sort of then changed it to the cinema in the woods we can date that photograph more or less by by the actual poster there which is the, le le the yellow mask with lupino lane in it so that is early 30s so it, it was a, a transition of 10 years it had changed its name from the pavilion cinema to uh, cinema in the woods yeah it's, it's a lot better it's, it's more safety conscious now for the projectionist than what it ever has been normally we can use a joiner join a piece of thermal i'll show you either Normally you can use a joiner like that. Magic now, look. And you put the tape across. Normally we do it both sides. That's just one side, it's strong just on one side, isn't it? Yeah. I and mean, if you do two... I mean... That's how good the stuff is. You've got to be master of the trade. You know, you've got to be electronics, and you've got to know the projector from A to B, so by that you can maintain them yourself. Yeah. We maintain all the equipment there, right? So it makes it cheaper. Because uh, I was in, when I did a 1994 um, commission on uh, the um, monopolies of the cinema industry, I was part of the study, right? And I was against all this business that that the multiples shouldn't be any different than anybody else. And that uh, it was, it should be, it's, uh, film distributors, you know, the way they operate, it's more or less a clientele, right? And that's not right. That's illegal in this country, and yet they're still doing it. Yeah. Now, why should they get away with it? I'm all the time bringing up the uh, committee, you know, stating the facts that's what's happening. I mean, you get something like, uh, say like, uh, Odie and Peterborough, um, uh, well, no, Odie and uh, Lincoln, right? They've got 12 screens at the moment, and they're going to move the cinema by the way, you know. It's going to get moved from where it is to another place, and they're going to build six cinemas, not not 12. Because the 12 don't pay, right? So anyway, uh, what, what, uh, what was I going on about the, uh, oh yeah, anyway, the, the multiples should not allow, be allowed to use the films for longer than two weeks, as I said, right? Now, if they want to hang on to it, right, they have to reduce the screens. So they go down to one screen and hang on to it. You understand me, right? But not to keep playing three screens when people like us are waiting for it in the, in the, in the six. Right? And other cinemas that's multiplex should have them because they even make arguments with themselves, you know? Yeah. And some of them can't get them at all, the audience. If there's an ABC release, what I call ABC release, they, 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 they couldn't write off. And audience don't get it till they're finished with it. After four weeks. Whereas we, like this here, um, a Shakespeare. Straight Shakespeare and Love, right? Now, I went to that when it first came out, couldn't have it. Was told, deliberately told, that Lincolnshire won't get it for three weeks. Deliberately told. From the film renter. That's not right, is it? One has to, of course, consider the fact that if the uh, distributor puts, say, a print of any film into a multiplex, providing it's successful, that print will more or less run for weeks and weeks and weeks. Um, here at the moment, as you know, we've got two screens, so we could probably take a film of normal sort of, uh, in the normal conditions, we'll probably run for, say, three weeks, four weeks, five weeks at maximum. I mean, you obviously get, you know, the way out ones like Full Monty, Titanic, and all this sort of thing that seems if it runs forever. But in the normal course of events, we'd take films that are probably going to run three to five weeks. So obviously, if they get... Um, a situation where they can put a print into a multiplex they know it's going to run for 10 weeks and if they have limited prints then they're not going to hold prints out of a 10-week booking mm -hmm. just to support um, cinemas such as the kinema 
and other cinemas in Lincolnshire, which are only going to run them maybe for four weeks or three weeks. Yeah. So really, it, it's economic sense from the distributors. I mean, obviously, uh, at the end of the day, they're their films. They're the ones who have put the money up for the films. So it's up to them where they place them. Yeah. At the moment, all the mall schools have got hold of the boxes. Yeah. And with a film doing that well, the hold of the film over week after week after week. Yeah. Which is only natural. We would do the same. And if we were doing well, we would hold it over. Yeah. I, I think that uh, whatever devices are invented for the home, people can't stop in there forever. You know, they've got to come out sometime. And cinema. Let's, I mean, look at a classic case of a uh, boy meets girl at a dance, right? So there's plenty of people about and uh, no problem. And if there's anything in it, the next date will be at the cinema. Yeah. That is when the two can be together with a lot of people. But it's in the dark. They're sort of together. So the second date is the cinema. My cinema, I think that it's, uh, it's an ideal cinema the only thing that's wrong with it is more cooperation from the landlord to get it more better, you know, like the front, all cleaned up. You know, get it cleaned all up and make it more presentable. Yeah. You see, because, I mean, there's nothing wrong with the cinema at all. Well, we are, we are solely reliant on the product that we've got on the screen. I mean, there's no pretense made about that. People will sit at home, they'll see a film advertised on the television, and they will then make a decision whether they want to see it or not. Yeah. And then they've got to make a decision whether they're going to see it, where they're going to see it. And um, fortunately, and we, we've always managed uh, in recent years to uh, have product on release. Indeed, we start today with The Bug's Life, yeah. uh, which is the latest one out. And uh, in a couple of weeks, we've got You've Got Mail and all this sort of thing. So it all sort of rolls along and it's important um, to have pictures on release because that's when people want to see them. They don't want to wait these days, six weeks late after release. They want to see them on television, see them advertised. They want to go and see them today. Yeah. And that's why we show. Yeah. The uh, population of Woodall is now just over 2,000 people. Yeah. Where in the country is there a town or a village as this is with a population of that amount got a full-time cinema, now a twin screen, with plans now passed for a third screen in this country operating today. And that should answer your question. Yeah.